Good morning and grand rising, honey. So today we're going to do something special. We're going to do a dream interpretation. So what I want you to do is I want you to focus on each card. We have the sun, we have rose quartz, we have comet, honey. And you're just going to take this time right now to pick the card that resonates with you the most. Do you feel fiery like the sun? Do you feel pink and cuddly like rose quartz? All that love just in the air, honey? Or do you feel more like a comet in space? You don't know where the fuck you're going to land, who the fuck you're going to bump into, bitch, but you know you're on a path somewhere. What do you feel like right now? Which card resonates with you the most? Take your time. Take your time and focus on the energies of the cards. Which one resonates with you the most? Do you feel fiery like the sun? Loving like rose quartz? Or ambitious like a comet? You don't know where you're going, but you're going, period. So we're going to begin this reading with the sun card. So I'm going to place these cards at the top. And this reading is for everyone who chose the sun card. Okay. So right now we're beginning with the sun. As I shuffle the cards, just kind of focus your intentions into the cards and ask your question, what is my dream about? What is spirit trying to tell me? What does God want me to know? What is not being revealed to me? What is it that I'm not understanding? Ask the questions as I shuffle the card and focus as intently as you can. Just imagine all those magical particles just beaming into the deck of cards. Your question will be answered. Ask and you shall receive. Feel the magic within you. Focus all of your energy and all of your intentions as much as you can into your question. Let it flow into the cards. Spirit, what is it that the people who chose the sun card need to know? What is it that their dreams are trying to convey to them? Dear God, dear universe, we ask that you allow this reading to be honest and technical and allow our readers to come away with a deeper understanding, more so than what they came in with. Okay. So the people who chose the sun card have been having dreams. What is it that their dreams mean? Oh, honey, there is a little gnat in here, honey. He's driving me crazy. Okay. I drew six cards because you know I love working with even numbers, honey. What is it that the dreams are trying to convey? We have here the Mother of Wands in reversed. And then we also have the Star card. Is there something that you're hopeful about? Something that you're wishing to turn into your favor, but you're lacking the action to make it possible? And is it necessarily the action or is it the thought? What is it that's worrying you? There's definitely something that you're worried about. There's something that is, it's a situation. It's a situation because we see here, we have the hope card, the, uh, the star card, which represents hope. But then we also have the six of wands. There's something, there's a rainbow, but you can't see it because you're in the midst of something. There's something that is plaguing your mind. There's something that you're worrying about, but it is a situation. What is the situation? There is beauty waiting for you. There is hope, but it requires an action 
or more so a thought, if that makes sense, a thought of action or an actionable thought. Spirit, please give us more clarity. Hanging in the balance. So here we have the hangman. It's a situation for sure. There's a, a situation that you're stuck in. Is it possible that there's two outcomes, two different decisions? What is it that you're not doing and could be doing? Spirit, please give us more clarity. Eight of Pentacles. Is it a financial situation? Something regarding your family? It's definitely emotional. Is it possible that it's emotional because of how you're thinking about it or your perspective? Can you change your perspective? Son of Wands in reverse. Again, it requires an action. Another Wands. More Wands. So there's definitely a situation that you're stuck in and Spirit is trying to guide you, but it requires you to make an action. So Spirit can only take you so far. Spirit can present the issue to you. It can say, honey, we have an issue, but only you can make the actual action to change your situation. Spirit, please give us more clarity. What is it that you want the readers who chose the Sun card to know? Please give us more clarity. Health. Mm. Now, health could be two things. It could be physical or it could be um, mental, psychological. Is there something that you're not doing? Is it your health? Have you been, uh-uh, honey, have you been kind of like procrastinating with your health? Are you getting your checkups? Are you going to the doctor? Is there something that you're worried about and you've been too afraid to address the issue or kind of get it checked out? Maybe this is spirit telling you now's the time. Failure. Hmm. Trust. Are you afraid of making a decision because you're afraid to fail? Do you fear the outcome? Do you feel like the outcome could be failure and that alone is just enough to make you kind of like hang in the balance? And then we also have trust, but what I'm feeling is that you need to have more trust within yourself. So not necessarily trust of others, you have to trust yourself to make the right decision. You have to trust yourself to be able to make a decision, period. You can't doubt yourself and remain in limbo. That's not good. Spirit, please give us more clarity. Patience. Don't be afraid to have patience. Don't be afraid to take your time with your decision. You don't have to rush and make a decision. But if it's something concerning your health, don't wait too long. Regarding trust, trust is earned, right? So trust definitely goes along with patience. Is it that you're trying to build trust or is it that someone's not sure if they can trust you? Either way, either situation, patience is required. There's definitely a situation that your spirit is trying to tell you in your dreams. It might be something health related. It might be kind of like a warning to something that might be health related. So it might be kind of like a, um, almost like a, an insight or a vision that may not come. Spirit is trying to tell you like, okay, hold up now. You've been having Popeyes for three days now. It's time to slow it down. 
center yourself and focus on your health and focus on health, not what feels good. A lot of things feel good, but it doesn't mean that they're healthy for us. Whether it's physical or psychological, you have to take both into account. Be very mindful of that, especially the psychological. And this spirit wants you to have trust, whether it's trust for you or trust for someone else. But it's okay to have patience with this trust. So don't go into the situation too trusting, but you give just enough trust that you're not hindering yourself from making any decisions. You don't want to be the hanged man waning in the balance. You don't want to be, um, you know, stuck in your position. You want to make a decision without any type of knowing, without any decision making, we can never really truly know where we're going in life, right? The journey is paused and we don't want to do that. There's a lot of chaos and pausing. I hope that this reading resonated with you for the people who chose the sun card. Um, if it did, please let me know in the comments. And now we're going to move on to the Rose Quartz. So this reading is for the people who chose Rose Quartz. So people who chose Rose Quartz, please focus your intentions as hard as you can. Feel your magical being just flowing with energy. Feel your presence here as I'm reading the cards. Feel spirit within the deck know that spirit will never lead you wrong feel your intentions into the cards not mine feel your intention into the cards use your magical energy and just kind of push through the screen and let spirit know you want an answer and you're looking for an answer and you're ready for the answer spirit we ask that you cleanse this deck of any past readings and allow that this reading be true and honest and please come clear, clear and obvious. What is it that you want the viewers who chose Rose Quartz to know? What is it that they're dreaming about? What does it mean? What do you want them to know? How are you trying to help? What is it that you want them to know, Spirit? The viewers who chose Rose Corp. You feel like pink and lovely and kind. What is Spirit trying to tell them? You are the master of your own life, honey. You hold the key, no one else. Spirit wants you to know that whatever you want is possible, but you hold the key. You have to put that key in that door, honey, and turn it. Come in like a swift owl carrying this knight, this sword, honey. You have to come in swift and know without a shadow of a doubt. It has to be made up in your mind. Swords are thoughts. And honey, he's driving that thought home. You have to know within your mind, without a shadow of a doubt, what it is that you want, who it is that you are. And it's okay if you don't know right now, but that is your journey. And on your journey, you have to know that you hold the key. Never forget that. We have the Strength card. We have Son of Pentacles. Again, another sign that you hold the power. You are beautiful. You are strong and you possess enough control. To not crush that flower. So spirit wants you to know that although you are very strong and you have the capability to be very strong and get the, the situation done, get the, you know, the problem solved, do so delicately. Handle it with care. Practice that care that you know you have, that control. 
Then we have the Six of Cups. You're bountiful. You're pulling from your roots. Spirit wants you to know that you're thriving. Spirit wants you to know that you are nourishing yourself. You are full. You are filling. And you are reaching towards the sky. So in that regard, it is very positive. You are doing what you're supposed to do. Now there's also an element of possible uh, worry. Not heartbreak, I won't say heartbreak, but a worry. So spirit is worried, but what is spirit worried about? So you have the strength, you have the control, you are the key in your own life, in your own journey, to your own door, your own life's door. But spirit is worried. What is it that spirit is worried about? Spirit, please give us more clarity. What is it that you're worried about? Hmm. Another worry card. Okay, spirit is definitely worried. It seems like spirit might be worried about a thought. There's something that's plaguing your mind and spirit wants you to be aware of it. Spirit wants you to stay still. Spirit wants you to be the hermit. He wants you to stay still. Don't make any sudden moves. Ground yourself. Spirit wants you to know that it's time to ground yourself. As we've seen here with the strength card, you possess a lot of strength. Spirit definitely conveyed that. Like you have a lot of strength. Emotionally, physically, you got the strength. But spirit is worried that maybe you lack the control. Spirit wants you to stay still. Don't use that strength right now. Just stay still. Kind of like how the hermit is. You want to reserve yourself. Be still. Wane in the stillness. There is power in stillness. Spirit, please give us more clarity. What is it that you want the readers, the viewers, who chose Rose Quartz to know? Spirit, please cleanse this deck. Allow this prediction to be specifically for those who chose Rose Quartz. Spirit, please cleanse this deck. Let it, allow it to be honest, full of integrity. What is it that you're worried about, Spirit? How can you give us more clarity? What do you want those who chose Rose Quartz to know? Self-esteem. Hmm. Relationships. Who are you without your relationship? I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Self-esteem relationships. Do you have a high self-esteem? How do you relate to others? Does your self-esteem affect how you relate to others? Now is the time to stand still. If there's a relationship that you're pursuing or something that might be kind of in the makings, spirit might want you to kind of just stay still just a little bit longer. Spirit might want you to kind of just relax. Don't make any sudden rash decisions. And kind of just, you know, take your time with it and focus on yourself, actually. That's self-esteem. Building yourself, that's self-esteem. Building yourself, focusing on yourself. What is it that makes you happy? Who do you want to be? And that's how you should be coming into a relationship. Relationships are just how two people relate to each other, right? 
whether it's a friendship um, or like a romantic relationship, how do you relate? And you can only relate to someone if you come in as your true self. So those who chose Rose Quartz, it looks like Spirit wants you to know that you do have the strength, right? You have everything you need, but you need to take a little bit more time and focus on yourself before you jump into anything new with anyone else, whether it's relationship, platonic, or uh, romantic. Focus on you just a little bit more. And there might be a reason. It might not be necessarily about you. Spirit might want you to kind of like dodge a bullet. You know what I'm saying? So before you make any... Um, rash decisions as far as who to let in your life right now stay still focus on you and something might be revealed to you about them spirit we are now to the final reading we ask that you tell us what those who chose the comment are dreaming about what is it that you want them to know Spirit, we ask that you cleanse this deck, release it from any past energies, allow this deck to be used to read for those who chose the comment. What is it that you want them to know? What is it that they're dreaming about? What is forming in their soul? What's going on, Spirit? What do you want them to know that you are interfering into their dreamland? What is it that you want them to know? A spark in the night, son of cups, the world, hmm, temperance, three of pentacles, the fool. Baby, you are on a new journey. You are on, you are, you have something going on. Is it a new venture? Is it a new idea? Is it a new creation? What are you doing? It looks like it's going to be really good. It looks like it's going to be so dag on good, honey. I'm so glad we got this reading because those are little mm. spirit wants you to know. <laughs> spirit wants you to know that whatever it is that you're doing right now, it is a new journey and it is a good one. It is a good one. You are going to reap so many benefits from it. Spirit also wants you to have temperance, though. So even though this is a new journey, don't be fooled, honey. You still come into it, girl, and you maintain that temperance. You be, you know, you come in it with the creative passions, girl, the creative flair, girl, the creative fire, girl. But also use that logic, that 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 knowledge, that common sense, honey. You know, not everything that glitters is gold. So be very careful about who you're mingling with on this new journey, about the new people that you're meeting. Be very careful. You have the five of swords. Be careful again. Two sides of a coin. Hmm. Is it a new relationship? A new romance? A budding romance? Okay. Don't go into it too fast. Don't tell them all your tricks. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, this is very good. This is very good. Spirit wants you to know that whatever it is that, that you're doing, whether it's your relationship right now, whether you're trying something new, whether you're on a new journey of self-discovery, you're on a new job, what, if you're on to a new passion, this is for you. What's ever happening right now in your life that's new, it's for you, honey. It is for you, period. Spirit is coming through nice and loud and clear. Spirit, we ask that you cleanse this deck. Please let it be for the people who chose comment. What do you want them to know? It looks so good, Spirit. What do you want them to know? You're in their dreams and you're trying to communicate with them. What is it that you want them to know, Spirit? What is it that you want them to know? Please tell us. Please give us clarity. Please give us clarity. Spirit came through nice and strong. Spirit wants you to know that there is a freedom waiting for you. In this new decision, there is freedom, honey. Free as can be. You possess the power and the free will to create your own happiness, baby. 
whatever it is that's happening for you right now, whatever just happened, it's the best daggone thing that's happening for you. Spirit wants you to hold on to it and not let it go. Forgiveness. Have forgiveness. You acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. If you're on a new love, if you're on a path of new love, let that old love go. Let that old love go. If you're in a new relationship, come into it full because this one is a good one. Let that old thing go. Let that old love go, honey. And you might have to forgive them if they hurt you. So to wrap this up, because my phone is dying, y'all. The people who chose comment, Spirit wants you to know that whatever it is you're on right now, this path, this journey, it's